Hey guys, I'm Kurt with Off-Road Armor. Today we're going to be putting on a set of rival doors on our 2020 Can-Am Defender crew cab. So as you can see, we've got the front doors and the rear doors. And uh, I've got my, my cousin here, Cole, helping me out today install these. So first off, I kind of like go over these doors a little bit here with you. So they, uh, they have an aluminum skin on there and they have a really nice armrest right here, which is uh, what kind of separates these doors from all the other doors on the market. Really nice armrest here, and uh, you know, again, this is the rival Power Sports USA brand. Um, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna start with the front door, and as you can see, Cole's already doing the other side. But uh, as we go through the steps, we'll uh, let you know what we think of these doors and and uh, see how easy they, they are to install. Okay, guys. So I wanted to point out that we already took off the net and the grab bar right here. So that's gonna be one of your first steps you do. And uh, as you can see, uh, it comes with four new grab bars for the crew. And uh, we're gonna choose the one for the passenger door here where the bolts go in are gonna go to the inside. So we've loosened these up and uh, so we have enough room on the inside. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna slide this on top first. We're gonna get those and they slide perfectly right in there. We're gonna go ahead and tighten these bolts down as well as these. And we'll move on to the next step. Okay guys, so now that we've got our arm bar put on, I wanna show you guys uh, that we put our hinge plate right here. Now I just put one button head bolt up top for now, just to kinda of hold it in place. Um, and I wanna show you what the next step is here. So you're gonna to wanna to slide this plastic piece in behind there. But before you do, this plate right here, this mounting plate, has to go to the back of the roll bar right here. So. In order for that to happen, you have to cut this section of this B-pillar plastic out. So you're going to cut that out, and then this plate obviously goes in behind here through the plastic on the outside and mounts to this. Now I do want to mention that we found out on the other side of our machine that uh, there was some weld splatter that got in uh, one of the nuts that was pre-welded onto the machine. And we're going to have to drill and tap that out. It may be that you have to do that as well. So uh, hopefully not, but we will have to. So again, this is going to, this plate's going to go right here. The plate's going to go through the plastic and sit on the outside. And uh, we're going to mount it right to there. So we'll get, we'll get going on that. All right. So we've cut out this little section, this little slot in our plastics here. Got that put up. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to, Slide that on in there. Make sure it's behind this piece. We're gonna slide it on in there, and then you can pull out. Pull. It is kind of a pain in the ass, I'll be honest, but uh, you can uh, get your bolt started at least. And then you can just use an extension and get in there. But um, let's see here. All right, so we got that started there. And uh, we'll go ahead and put the other one in. And then we'll put the two button head bolts right there. Put the two button head bolts, and then this should be pretty secure. And then we're also going to take this very long bolt, this very long bolt that it comes with, and this bushing here. So I'm gonna show this to you guys. Uh, this long bolt and bushing. And this goes through right in here again we've we've only got that top button head bolt in that just gives us enough room to get behind here and there's already a nut welded on to the frame back there so we're just going to take a look in that hole there get it lined up and i think we got it in there all right guys just to save us all some time we skipped ahead a few steps but i wanted to kind of go over what we did here so um, this is the striker bolt bracket. Obviously that slides up back in there. You're going to reuse the original two screws that you had in the, uh, in the buckle that you had there. Well, and then also you're going to put two bolts right there and that is as solid as you can get right there. Now we've already put the door on because again, all we, uh, and by the way, it shuts great. So all we had to do is just kind of put everything in here, put the bolts in. Uh, tighten this up back here. We've got a little bit left to do with our plastics, but we'll get to that. And uh, this door has now been adjusted 
there is a ton of adjustment in these doors. Uh, there's adjustment with the hinges here. There's adjustments on the grab handle. Out here, there's adjustments. There's adjustments back here that you can use. Uh, the uh, square spacers that they give you. Um, so you can adjust it if you need to bring the door back. Or, you know, you can even go the easier route and just bend this just a tad bit if you need to, the uh, striker bolt there. So anyways, we've got this door opening and closing good. And I'm um, just taking a look at the gaps here. The gaps look pretty darn good. I mean, it could probably come down a little bit, but uh, you know what? We got it closing pretty good, so we'll leave it like that is. We'll ride around for a little bit. I'm sure after we ride around, it'll need some adjustment anyways. But uh, and then lastly, you put this little blue strap right here that keeps it from swinging open. So you'll put that right there. But anyways, we've got the, the front door set done on a crew cab and we're gonna go ahead and move back to the back doors and we'll see how that goes. All right guys, today we're gonna work on the rear doors for our Can-Am Defender Max. And uh, I've got my son Cam here, he's gonna help me out. So uh, we've already got this arm bar on here and we went ahead and put the plastic on. And we did need to take a rubber mallet and kind of hit that plastic in between the in between the arm bar and the frame. So the next step is we're going to put this bracket on here on the back there. And uh, just like we've done with uh, all the other doors. And then this obviously goes right here, mounts right there. So we'll go ahead and get these two pieces put on and uh, see what kind of adjust adjustment we need to make to get the door on. Okay, so this... Uh, We've gone ahead, we put this on as you can see here, left it loose, and we're gonna go ahead and put this, uh, the striker bolt bracket on. Now, Kim, go ahead, tighten her down. That's the right way? Yep, you're going the right way. Right on there, go ahead. Oops, hold on. Go ahead, now you got it. Hammer it down, keep going, nice and hard. Good. Keep going, oops. All right, let's, let's do the bottom one there. There you go. Go ahead. You got it. Good job, buddy. There we go. So we'll move on to the next step here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, put this door on. We've got the strike. Cam went to put our striker bolting plate on. Striker bolt plate on. And there we go. Oh, no, we didn't get it that time. Let's try it one more time here. Perfect, we got it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and shut it. Again, everything's still pretty loose, but it's still shut all right. So what we're just gonna go do is we're gonna have Cam here tighten everything down and uh, see if it still opens and closes well. So we'll go do that. All right, so Cam and I have finally finished putting on the half rival doors for the Can-Am Defender. Cam, if you wanna hop in, go ahead. We'll open this door up, show everybody how nice this works. And again, you've got these blue straps here that kind of keep it from swinging all the way open. Go ahead and shut that door so you can get in. Perfect. All right. So um, the aluminum skinned rival doors can be available, can be found on uh, offroadarmor.com. I think they're a little over $1,500 for these. But uh, um, now if you have a single cab, uh, it's about half the price. So again, uh, we'd appreciate uh, your business. And if you got any questions, feel free to give us a call at 580-OFFROAD. Thanks.